Okay, let's talk about decals in <clears throat> to in motion. It's very interesting. In the object, you now can access the decals. Open it, and now we have a lots of decals that you can use in your scene. For example, something like that. Nice. There are decals that you can snap it anywhere. For example, we want to make it more, you can use it, you can rotate it, you can <clears throat> scale it, but in its settings. For better understanding and finding them, you can click in here and filter scene manager by decals. Now you can just see the decals here. <clears throat> the decals, there are like a texture on um, on top of the material, and it has a lot of sitting uh, about the material. That's why we'll be explaining it now and after in <clears throat> material. For example, you want to uh, copy it. It's very easy. Hold and shift, and then click and drag, place where you want, and release. I prefer to copy this by instance because I want to change one of them to transfer to all of them. Any number that you want, this number is, used, uh, you define it by hand here and it's okay. Now you can use it. If you click in here to choose this, and then uh, you know you can change the size of the details here and i will be explaining more all of the settings you can go down and for example the color you can change the color of the decals here if you want nice uh, this is one of my decals you can explore all of our other decals you can see some of the decals uh our problem with the curve <coughs> object that i explain it how to fix that you can see the decals are snapping anywhere that you want for example here and we want to solve some or uh, something like this issues let's <clears throat> bring some other decals going down going down for example decals on top of other decals you can see we have lots of decals on top of each other we want to fix the order we explore all of the settings. <clears throat> yeah, interesting details here. You can see the manholes. You can interesting details on the wall or anywhere. Nice. Explore all of them. Details like this on a curve object. <clears throat> now we can see it has a problem. We want to fix that decals and interesting decals we have something like that it's simulate water on a safe face rainwater interesting decals mm -hmm. you can see that we have decals that create damage on any surface with a height map and the bump you can drag and drop it on any surface automatically detected the surface now you can see interesting details <clears throat> going down for example these decals for and another decals at the bottom of the list is shadow round for example we have an uh, let's bring them here. We have to, these are shadows. They simulate the shadows. For example, <clears throat> when you go into object, home, uh, for example, living room, table, we have some glass table. <clears throat> Let's find it. You can see we have a glass table uh, that has no shadow because the glass. You can you can see it here. 
you can simulate this sh these shadows something like this let's let's change my speed to walk you can see it, this this is on glass and we have no shadow click on this and you can simulate the shadow of it i will be explain all of the settings more <clears throat> okay let's talk about settings of decals okay for example these decals here this is on the texture you can change the scale of the decals no my speed is not very good <clears throat> select these decals for example you go to the scale and you cannot because you have to change the size of the decals here nice or you can type any number that you want what is depth in settings you can see we have a decals that cross this uh, height and it uh, does not project on it if you <clears throat> increase the number of the depths you can see the box will be appear around the decals and with the depths increasing of depths you can uh, go over on top of the other object now you can see around the decals changing the depths we have a bounding box for making the issues like this you project the decal on a curve object <clears throat> for fixing that you have to increase the depths now we have a bounding box around the decals that project around correctly on a round object like this so depths fixing these issues then open the <clears throat> details interesting here you can change the length and the height of that this is useful for this for example uh, you can change the length mm, the bits of that your details okay if you want to change uniformly you can change the size on uniformly length and width you can here opacity is working for it you can change the opacity for better to natural look of your shadow something like that and something like that and the sort order for uh, fixing the order of the decals for example I want this decal going on top of that it's very easy you can for example select this decal and set order one now because the order of this decal is zero now you can see the order of this zero and the order of this one it's go up for example we have this decal here and i want now it's nice the order of this is one you can make it order of this two and this is an on top of all, all decals nice then you can come here and change the color of your decals very simple luminosity of that much brighter or darker <clears throat> we have a lot of details in the color details you can change the texture you can import your own texture of decal here you can click on a texture and open your own texture nice so in this case you can insert your own texture i suggest you when you want to insert your texture going to the detail details that has just an image not bump or anything or open your texture from here so for example come in there open and insert your texture here <clears throat> you can change the saturation of it this gamma or other things going to the this 
bumpy things select that now we can see we have a texture this is roughness uh, you can change more rough or more uh, it's just for um, actually for reflection for example yeah you can see it see it here we can delete for example this if you increase the number of roughness we have more rough at the surface and we have less reflection if you give a lower number of the roughness we have more reflective object now we can see this is a bump we reach that okay the roughness now you can see we have a texture the roughness texture it means it, it they gives the black and white image that map that roughness in a white area we have more roughness and in a black area we have the less and the grays between them some black and white code you can invert the roughness map this is not texture you have to give a black and white texture to control the roughness look metallicness you can make it completely metallic i think it is better to switch it okay sorry for that my camera was okay select it and the metallicness you can see we have something like this more metallic i think you can see better here more metallic look of your decals now we can see it's in the 100 percent you can increase or decrease number of that if you go to the details we have another texture that if you click that it's then the texture of the metallic you can invert it you can see it's then black and white image that control the metallicness in which a part of the texture you have 100 percent of metallic in a white area in a black area we don't have some black and white code in a 3d software white means yes black is no and the gray is between them yes any comment any texture yes black any comment or any texture no some black and white code that control this metallicness and now we have normals it's interesting you can see for example here we have not 3d real 3d object it's a fake because of the normal here we have normal you can increase or if you uh, make the zero number of the normal now you can see we have no 3d or bump object this is a normal fake the camera and the light to uh, you imagine that's in 3d if you open the detail of the normal we have a normal map such as this image in this color code are normal you can see it's uh, clearly create 3d for you and you can open your normal number or you can invert your normal you can see it's inverted parallax it gives a if you open it it gives you a height map you can in a height map you have to give a black and white code i will be explaining it when we reach the material you can better understand it emission it gives you a glow to your um, object if uh, we go to dark mode now you can see we have a glow this is an image you can light your scene with this glowing object and with the luminance filter you can change the color of your glowing something like that and in the details again you can give a texture to your uh, glow for example you don't want to be with the glow you can give the b black code it's turn off and other will be turn on it's black code black and white control the glow you can change the glow temperature to white, uh, warmer and cooler change the saturation gamma or other things or you can control it 
uh, from dusk to the down means it's turning on or off automatically when you change the timing. It's turn off and turn on when you reach to the dark mode. It's automatically. Or if you don't want it, it's always will be turned on even in uh, daylight. Nice. And mask, using mask, how you guys explain it in more mass on the material, but if you turn it off, you can see yeah, we have a box. Uh, it's, it's actually activate the transparency area and the uh, alpha map. That will be explained in the material better. You can invert it. You can see if you invert the mask gives to the box. For example, this boss is an image, um, square image, that uh, in this area we have a mask. The transparency. This is an, actually a PNG. If you insert a PNG object that ha has no, uh, if you insert the PNG, this is an, you, you have to use a mask for it. And of course, uh, you can see the opacity mask, but because it is an PNG, it automatically created. And I will explain others in material. And that's it. This is in decals. You can insert your This is in texture. I have, uh, I will be rich to materials and explain a lot of about materials and all of these settings. And we have more. 